right. Well, hello and welcome. Welcome and hello. Today is Thursday, you guys, which means that it is vlog day. And yeah, I got a full on action packed vlog for you guys planned out tonight. For anybody watching on the replay, hashtag replay crew, make yourselves known. Those timestamps are going to be the first pinned comment right underneath this video. What's wrong? You never seen a guy in a baby blue uh, rad Star Wars shirt before? <sighs> got this last week from uh, Mr. Jake Scrapwood. Love the crap out of this shirt. Love the crap out of this shirt. Uh, let me do a quick rundown for you here, guys. We're going to talk about what I've been vaping. It's got out of hand again. Of course, we're going to have a beer. We're going to do some liquid tasting voting. Uh, we're going to have a retro vaping tonight. I'm really excited about it because I'm going to do it. Uh, I don't know. It's just going to be a little bit different than past retro vapings. And I also have a whole mess. I don't know if you can see this off camera right here. A whole mess of mail because I was off last week. Yeah. I'll, hopefully, as you guys noticed... Thank you, Jay Cook. I appreciate that. I love this shirt. I was off last week, as you guys probably noticed, and we didn't have a vlog. But it was my birthday last week, and I kept getting packages in the mail. Like, I kept getting packages, and then I got packages, and then I got packages, and I know that some of these are birthday gifts, but if they're birthday gifts from patrons or birthday gifts from subscribers, I would like to open them on the vlog. So I feel like it was only fair to save all of the packages that I had been getting over the course of the week for tonight. And I am excited to get into those packages because I know there's a record in there as well. But uh, yeah, hell yeah. Welcome, you guys. Um, first things first, I, I ran into a little bit of a speed bump, which I'm going to rectify very shortly because I don't know if you can you hear this? Empty. That's what we call empty. And I can't be a hydro homie and I can't hydrate if I have an empty water bottle. I was sitting here before the vlog kind of pacing around going... I'm, this is great. Everything's ready to go. My desk looks great and I have things set up and ready to go and the mail's right there and I got all my news and we're going to be talking about Marvel a little bit later. I'm going to do part two of the, the unseen menace, the mind control menace. We're going to do that. It's going to be hilarious. I thought I'm confident. I'm like first vlog back after my vacation. Boosh. Who's ready to go? This guy. Look, if this is the only dangle clack I have tonight, then I'll leave it right there. Um, I saw some super chats come in. We do the super chats at the end of every segment for anybody watching on the replay. And I guess for everybody in the chat, I see you there, Southern Comfort. I appreciate you being here, buddy. Um, first things first, I'm going to try to go fill up my water bottle, but we're also going to do that thing. That's my new favorite thing where I get to hear from one of my subscribers. In fact, this is just one of my favorite videos that anybody has literally ever sent me. This is the story of Kelly and Rich. And I think, I believe they're married, Kelly and Rich, and it was Rich's birthday. And Kelly wanted to get Rich a Grim Army, uh, you know, dad hat. So she hit me up on the side like an email and was like, hey, it's my husband's birthday. He's a huge fan. Um, I'm going to order him a dad hat like for his birthday. Is there any way you could like throw in a note that just says happy birthday, you know, with your signature or anything like that? And I was like, yeah, I mean, A, look who you're talking to. We will be singing happy birthday tonight, saying happy birthday to people and singing happy birthday is one of my favorite things to do. So yeah, absolutely. So really it took no effort out of my day and, and it made this huge impact. And it's just such, it's just such a GD heartwarming video. So right now I'd like to hear uh, from Rich and Kelly and I just love this video. And while this is playing, I'm going to try to fill up my water bottle and I'm going to try to be back on time. Let's, let's hear from Rich and Kelly. I'm so excited right now. Oh, nice. I mean, nice. Tell me what you got. What is that? It's from Grim Green. Well, there's banana stickers. Technically, it's for me, but. Well, it's from his store. Okay. What's it for? What do you mean, what's it for? Why did I get it for you? Well, it's supposed to be for my birthday, but you're impatient. Yeah, I am. Show me what it is. You're not doing it fast enough. Wait, hold on. I need this lightage. Oh my god, what is it? What's that? <gasps> it's got the Truth Butter sticker in it. <laughs> yes. Show, show me. Green um, stickers. Yeah, yeah, all the stickers. <gasps> hey, what? 
Do you see why I couldn't wait now? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Are you gonna cry? That's so fucking cool. <laughs> and it's got the dad hat. <laughs> That's awesome. And the what? Let me see. The dad hat. Thank you, dude. You're okay. welcome. Oh, wait. Is there more? Oh. There's more. Oh, shit. <laughs> it's never ending. Thank you, babe. I love you. You're welcome. Love you. <laughs> Thanks, Graham. God, that is just the most heartwarming video I have ever seen. I've never seen my signature or my Grim Army dad hat bring one man so much joy. That that just made my day. So uh, shout out to Kelly and Rich. Happy birthday again uh, to you, Rich. Hope you had a good birthday. Hope you're rocking the dad hat proudly. But if you have a video similar to that, doesn't have to be similar to that. It can be literally anything. You can send it on over to me, nick at grimgreen.com. Just mark your subject. That one thing, chances are, you know how it goes. I'll see the attachment. I'll, I'll save it and use it for a future. That's what thing that, that one thing. Anyway, it's going to be that kind of night. Is it? Is it going to be that kind of night? I'll tell you what night it's going to be right now. It's going to be super chat night. Let's do some of these. Look, because I know we're running long, we're just going to have to skip the intro. Where did all my super chats go? Oh, what the hell happened? Uh, I seem to have lost all of my super chats. That's bumming me out. All right, so let's go through the chat here. Fuck YouTube. YouTube put a Lucy Up ad before the stream on me, resulting in me shouting, Fuck YouTube. I see Lucy nicotine gum ads all over Facebook, fuck YouTube, and it drives me absolutely insane. The double standard of clean nicotine, and I love how they Lucy nicotine takes digs at vaping. Has anybody noticed this? It's obnoxious. This isn't like vaping. This is clean nicotine. Hey, fuck breath. Sorry. Vaping is clean nicotine. I need to stop the obscenities. I don't, know, I don't know what happened, but I got cursed with obscenities. Uh, Joey, that was very gracious of you. Sent me a dancing lemon guy. I freaking love that. Thank you, bro. Uh, I'm scrolling down here. Josh Maynard, that's very gracious of you. Hey, Grim, what's up? I love the shows, and I know it's going to be a great one. Drink one for my birthday, man, maybe eight or ten. Celebrating with the old faithful dead rabbit with a challenge cap on the jackaroo, and I love it. Keep on vaping. Josh, we're going to sing you happy birthday in just one moment right at the end of these super chats. What, uh, there was, there was one Southern comfort. There he is. So co checking in, not riding on account of rain. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. I could see that. You know what? Safety first, safety first. So co safety first. Thanks for hanging out with tonight, bro. Uh, sorry, I'm scrolling through the chat because all my super chats got uh, disappeared. Tyler B says, Hey man, I just lost my grandma this morning to lung cancer from smoking. She She's been on hospice and is finally at peace. Please keep doing what you do. Oh my God. Advocating save lives. Yo, yo, Zusex. God damn it, Tyler B. I I'm really sorry to hear that. Really terribly sorry to hear that. Tyler B's grandma is the people that we're trying to help. <laughs> Tyler B's grandmother is the people that we're trying to help. We're trying to save adult lives. And that kills me. I'm sorry to hear that, Tyler B. For Tyler B's grandma tonight. Let's all be smoke-free for Tyler B's grandma. Good Lord. Uh, there was one more I think I saw in here. Lee says, uh, yep, from Yorkshire. Uh, thank you very much for the work you do. Ah, thank you, Lee. Appreciate that. Appreciate, you, appreciate the love from Yorkshire. You guys have the Yorkshire Cancer Research uh, Center there. Spectacular. Uh, and there was a green one here. Barbara, happy birthday to you too. Barbara, of course I know that it's going to be your birthday, Barbara. Dang it. Give me a little bit more credit as your cousin than that. Okay. Uh, are we all ready? <clears throat> Hang on. Everybody, if you guys don't sing, I'm going to feel silly. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Anybody that has a birthday and SVK vapes and Barbara and Josh Happy birthday, dear, all those people I just listed and everybody else too. 
Happy birthday to you. Yeah, skip around the room. Skip around the room. Skip around the room, you guys. Uh, let's have a beer. Let's have a beer for Tyler B's grandmother tonight. It's beer time. <laughs> Now, that might have been a little bit of a dangle clack. I have a beer tonight that we got last week in the vlog from Jay Wolf. This is the Big Timber Bine Ripe, Biney Ripe Hazy IPA. It's a little bit uh, more modest here. We got a 6.7 print tonight, so it should be should be a pretty a pretty mellow vlog. We might get a little out of control at some point, but. Uh, I'm not sure. Shout out to uh, Jay Wolf for the Big Timber. How do you pronounce this? Look, is it just me or do I, do, Biney, Bin, Bin Ripe, Bine Ripe? I don't know. That's why I'm asking. I have no idea. This is a hazy IPA, which it's whatever. I say the same thing every time. I used to hate IPAs and then suddenly I just started loving them. It's true. I did used to hate IPAs and suddenly I just started loving them, especially hazy IPAs. I started really liking that like grapefruity, citrus, hazy awesomeness that happens in there. Pouring it into a uh, Westy 12 glass tonight. Oh, I'm going to have to top this off. It's going to be too much beer for old Grim tonight. But uh, cheers, you guys. Here's to you. Hope you have something uh, delicious next to you. Jay Wolf. Jay Wolf, where has this beer been all my life? This is summer. This is this is summer in a glass. This is a juicy, juicy, grapefruity, delicious, hazy IPA. I get so I get a ton of upfront sweetness. There's no bitterness. There's no like weird lingering piney hoppy finish or anything like that. It's terribly clean and man, juicy. If I could pick one word, <laughs> juicy, let me say it again. It's a juicy, juicy beer. Yes, this is my uh, Westy 12 glass to Sergio in the chat. I've actually bought this in Belgium. When I, when I got to go to Belgium, I bought a four pack of Westy 12. Oh, I'm not even showing you the logo. I bought a four pack of Westy 12 and I somehow managed to get this glass in my carry on bag home from Belgium and it stayed intact. I feel like that's pretty impressive. I am loving the ever loving crap out of this beer and I don't even know what to pair it with. I have no idea. You know what this might pair with? Smacks, RIP Smacks Peach Slide, AKA Lick It. Yes, holy crap, that is good. Let me do this again, pardon me, this is, have I said this before? I feel like I've really said this before. This is one of the this is one of the best beer pairings I've ever done. Oh my god. I don't know what it is about the peach or the peach the peach with the with the hazy IPA. They're just complementing each other so well right now. I feel like the the vape brings out way more sweetness in this beer. Here, let's at least get it all out of the can, you know? <clears throat> I can't be that guy with a can on my desk. I don't want to be can desk a guy. I'm not that guy. <clears throat> anyway, now that we have a little bit of uh, fuel, <laughs> a little bit of fuel inside of us, uh, let me let me just real quick, real quickly, I need to slow down. And the first vlog back after a little bit of a break always is a little bit weird. Feels a little bit weird. I feel like... Uh, I haven't done this in a while and I haven't been practicing like I wasn't practicing when I was off, you know, <clears throat> burp life is happening intensely tonight. <clears throat> Apologize. I try not to burp directly into the microphone if that's any consolation at all. Okay. So real quickly, I want to talk about a few things that I've been vaping. As I said, it got, uh, 
Well, here's what happened. It got a little bit out of hand. Uh, technically, yes, this is everything that's on my desk right now. Look, and if we're going from left to right, it's the Aegis Boost with the QP Juggernaut MR, as you just saw, just vaped it. Foxy One, Reload S, K-Fun Mix, Thelema with the OG Reload uh, RTA on there in single coil mode, which, by the way, Scallywag, if you're here tonight, I think I saw you in the chat. No worries. All good, Scallywag, all good. Scallywag made the suggestion that I should make this a single coil in the build stream, and I, I didn't love it as much, you know? I didn't love it as much as a dual coil, and he he's like, he feels really bad about it. He's like, sorry, bro, I feel like I ruined your experience or I ruined your RTA. I'm like, don't even trip, dude. Don't even trip, dog. Out of the worst vapes I've had in my life, that doesn't even rank in the top 1,000 of them, you know? So it's all good. Back to what I've been vaping. Uh, where did I leave off? Oh yeah, that giant def mod with the Trilogy XL, the suicide in stacked mode with the Aromamizer Plus V2 in the series deck. That was left over from the build stream and I've just been vaping it. That's the Jake Scrapwood with the Digiflavor Torch. That's the Obelisk with the Type 2. That's the Abyss with the Ether, Argus, and the Watofo PNP coil still going strong. Uh, that's the Mando with the Rye and the Guar def mod with the 40 millimeter Valhalla on top. Everything that you say is currently on my desk right now. But as far as last week goes, I planted myself out in the living room. I didn't even come in my office on my break. Okay, that's a lie. I came into my office a few times on my on my break, but I tried to be out of here as much as possible because I didn't want to, I, I associate this room with work and I didn't want to associate last week with work. So I just pitched up in the living room and here's actually what I've been vaping. Yeah, it's the K-Fun Mix. It's the suicide, but in single battery mode with the Rye, the Whirl S, the Ether with the Abyss, the Jake Scrap with the Torch, the, the Geek Vape with the QP, Juggernaut MR. That's what I vaped all last week. Now, if you're asking me to whittle that down even further, it's going to be these two mother truckers right here. I've just been on a big, huge mouth to lung kick. Despite the stacked tube mech, <laughs> despite the stacked tube mech, despite the 40 millimeter RTA, despite the 40 millimeter RDA, despite all of the RTAs, I've been on a bit of a mouth to lung kick. I've been loving the K-Fun on the mix as always. And honestly, this ether bridge with the two millimeter airflow, air, airflow hole, the one that I didn't try in the review, if you put the two millimeter airflow and turn this front airflow all the way down to like one hole, it can be a pretty passable open mouth to lung and I've really, really been enjoying it. it it's just pretty delightful. I feel like this could use a lot more wattage. I feel like uh, I've been running this too, too, night, too, uh, too lightly. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But it's a pretty passable open mouth to lung. Of course, the K-Fun mix combo is, this is my new desert island vape. I love the mix and I love the K-Fun and this combo is so comfortable and so good and so satisfying, I, I can't even stand it. The QP Juggernaut MR on the Geek Vape, I can't even remember what this is. Aegis Boost Plus, kind of came out of nowhere. I've just been loving the crap out of it. And honestly, the Whirl has been killing most everything. The Whirl has been killing all my pods, the V-Through, the Lux. Uh, I just got a new pod from UL that's kind of a contender for the Whirl, but I can't get enough of the Whirl. And I didn't start truly loving the Whirl until I put an Oleg drip tip on there. In fact, here, shout out Oleg. He makes dope drip tips that I love. And it kind of became like a cooler little thing. I don't know. And I've just been using it. Kind of reminds me of like a cigar or something, or like this is how I imagined vaping would look like in the future. It's just, uh, damn, it's just really good. Anyway, that's really more or less what I've been vaping. I'm going to try to whittle this down somehow, but I get the feeling that I'm just going to keep adding to it because why not just keep setting up setups constantly, constantly, constantly setting up setups. It's just what I like to do. What would you guys like to do? What I would like to do right now is, let's quickly, let's see if there's any more uh, Super Chats. Yeah, there is. Hey, there's Sexy King Phil. I don't have beer, but I have ice cream. Does that count? Uh, yeah. Wait, no, it doesn't. <laughs> I forgot, no. 
uh, pour liquor in it or Kahlua or something like I used to make uh, vanilla ice cream with chocolate syrup Kahlua in it. Oh, come on. That's delicious. Uh, yeah, uh, got another super chat from Southern Comfort. Did Smacks go out of business? No more POA? Unfortunately, yes. Smacks did have to close because of the vape mail ban. They just had to close, and that's a huge bummer. Um, I was able to get a little bit of POA, and by a little bit, I mean it's literally just a few bottles, but if you're ever really hankering for some POA, and I mean SoCo, you have to be really hankering for some POA, hit me up. Hit me up. Or hit up your local shop. No, they're not going to have any. Hit me up. Hit me up. Dick Roller, yo, yo. I'm a few minutes late, but I'm catching it live tonight. Replay crew, hashtag vape gravy. I, if I'm being completely honest, I don't know what vape gravy even means, bro. Let's do, uh, do you want to knock out some quick news before we get to all of the fun stuff? I promise the news is actually going to be really fun tonight. We're going to be, <laughs> we're going to be making a little bit more fun of the, uh, of the uh, Marvel real cost campaign, the mind control menace. I talked a list, uh, about this a little bit on uh, on TBN last week, but uh, we're gonna wrap this up because it's literally the dumbest thing you've ever seen. Don't watch it, don't bother. I've sat through it and watched it, and I so I can report back to you as to how it goes. And truly and honestly, I personally feel like my renditions of this comic are way better and way more fun than watching the actual comic book. So anyway, let's jump into it. Let's do some news and advocacy. News and advocacy, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Yeah. So uh, news and advocacy, you guys, what's going on? So uh, there's a few things that I'm going to put down in the description. Um, First of all, look, I'm not trying to brag or anything or like toot my own horn, but look, it's whatever. Iowa Attorney General Tom Miller liked my tweet. That's fine. That's no, that's no big deal. <laughs> that's no big deal. It's, that's, I'm, I'm lying. My heart was, I was like freaking out. I'm like, that's cool. Tom Miller, Iowa Attorney General Tom Miller, one of the few Attorney Generals in the United States that's like pro-vaping, pro-harm reduction. It's cool. He can like my tweets or at least his office liked my tweets. Um, I had another update. A lot of people have been asking where to get e-liquid um, because of the of the vape mail ban and everything going on right now. Where to get e-liquid? I'm just passing this information along. I keep getting emails from eLiquid.com and they're still shipping. I put a cart together and I blocked out my address this time. I'm assuming they're complying with the PACT Act because they have sales, they have two different taxes on there, which leads me to believe they're trying to comply with the PACT Act. A $16, 60 mil bottle of beard would have cost $36 to me shipped. I didn't buy this, but I went as far as I could just to see if I could get to the checkout and see what shipping options I can use. And it says mother truck and adult signature USPS priority mail. So it looks expensive. Now $36 is that, I feel like that is more expensive than you can find at your local vape shop. So Look, I don't know. <laughs> There's options out there. Obviously, I can't post any shopping links anywhere in the description of this video, but there there are options. Uh, there's definitely options out there. And don't forget, you guys, that a lot of big vendors, 8Vape, Element Vape, they have secured alternate shipping for large portions of the United States. If you're in Massachusetts right now, like <laughs> I know some of my patrons are in Massachusetts right now, and it sucks in Massachusetts right now. Yeah, de yeah. see, it's funny. You brought up Massachusetts. Yeah, Massachusetts sucks really bad right now. Really bad right now. And I don't, and I have no advice. I, like, I have no advice. I have no, like, Massachusetts will come around. Here's the thing. Rhode Island is coming around. You can point Charlie Baker in Massachusetts to what Rhode Island is doing. Point them to what, honestly, what Florida is doing. As weird of a dude as he is, Ron DeSantis was smart as hell with vaping in Florida. So yeah, I just wanted to throw that out there as well. Um, there are a few other things I'm going to throw out there that I kind of always throw out there. The Safer Nicotine Wiki, I think it's just a really great thing that we can all add to and get more knowledge and information and science and studies packed into this Safer Nicotine Wiki. Uh, 
tobaccokills.ca. This is a big uh, Canadian thing. So if you're in Canada, shout out to all my Canadian vapors up there. I love your maple syrup hockey playing faces. Do the tobaccokills.ca. It's just a call to action. They've had, you know, something like 50,000 responses of this so far. And it's interesting what they're running into with this call to action. It's kind of a similar thing that CASA runs into with calls to actions in the United States. Like there's a lot of offices, congressional offices that just simply don't recognize consumer org mailers like this. Just nope, consumer orgs, we don't care whatever about that. So you have to end up contacting them like through their official office. This is something that tobaccokills.ca is running into as well. And so they're working to get that, uh, get that rectified. Additionally, if you're in Canada, rights for vapors in Canada. If you're a vapor and you want rights in Canada, boom, rights for vapors in Canada. It says so right in the name. I'm pointing the wrong direction. And I'm going to include another organization today that I don't know why I haven't been including for years, but it's our own Greg Connolly and the U. You, <laughs> the AVA, the American Vaping Association. If you're an American and you're a vapor and you want to be part of an association, it's right there. It's literally in the name, American Vaping Association. And of course, we're always going to draw attention to CASA because they are our consumer organization. And uh, I love CASA. So I'll have links to all of these down in the description. But if we're going to leave CASA up here for just a second, there are a few calls to actions going on. There's one in Missouri right now where we're actually supporting this bill. Hang on. Let me get to this over here. Yeah. Missouri is uh, we're supporting HB 517. I believe there is still an active call to action for this. If you're in Missouri, am I saying that right? Is it Missouri or Missouri? I've heard it both ways. HB 517 would prohibit local governments in Missouri from making laws that regulate the sale of vapor and alternative nicotine products. So this is like a preemptive, you can't ban vaping law. So this is something that we want to support. This isn't something we're against. This is something we want to support. I got a little update from Brave Advocates over there on Twitter, which if you're on Twitter, Highly suggest checking out Brave Advocates. I don't know Brave Advocates, but I like Brave Advocates a lot. I got an update from Brave Advocates on Twitter that said the committee adjourned for HB 517 in Missouri. <clears throat> yeah, sorry. Burp life. It's it's difficult to try to be a serious harm reduction advocate and talk about the news while you're burping. Could you hear that? Could you hear that? Committee is adjourned and voting will take place next week. So now is the time between the committee adjourning and when they vote, do this call to action and reach out to anybody that you know in Missouri and say, yes, we want to support this. We're supporting HB 517. Support HB 517. There's another flavor ban happening in Bloomington, Minnesota. Yeah, the Bloomington City Council is moving towards banning the sales of flavored vaping and tobacco products. The proposed ordinance would also cap the number of tobacco retailer licenses in the city at the current amount with a ban on issuing new licenses as old ones are not renewed. That is bullshit. Sorry, that is really, really shitty. Think about that. Capping. So if you want to open a vape shop, and get people off of cigarettes because you have to be a tobacco retailer, they're gonna cap the number of tobacco retailers and as old licenses die, they just won't be renewed. So eventually the goal is to have zero vape and zero tobacco shops in Bloomington. If you're against this, which you should be against this, there's a call to action from CASA for it. Montgomery, Colorado. This is the last one from uh, from CASA. Fight a vape tax. Montgomery County, Maryland. Maryland. Sorry. I don't know why I thought uh, Colorado. C-O-M-D. I don't know. I thought Colorado didn't even think about Maryland. Montgomery County, Maryland is moving forward with a proposal to double its excise tax on vapor products. Yeah. If enacted, the new tax would be 60% of wholesale, doubling the current tax of 30%. Uh, a public hearing is scheduled for Tuesday, April 27th. So if you're in Maryland, which shout out Maryland. Hi, I got a Maryland flag hanging on the back of my chair right here. Shout out to Maryland. Do everything you can to stop this. You know, it, it's it's way easier to, to try to stop these before they get rolling than to try to repeal them after they're... Uh, 
after they're done. So that's what's uh, that's what's on the books for CASA right now. Uh, what else? I got a few more things I wanted to mention here in the news and advocacy. Oh, Brad Radu. Yes, this is Brad Radu. If you don't know Brad Radu, you should get to know Brad Radu. Brad Radu is professor of medicine, endowed chair of tobacco harm reduction research at the University of Louisville. And he posted out a tweet the other day where he said, I've been a pathologist at major cancer centers. After diagnosing and treating sick and dying smokers for 15 years, I began to focus on educating them about safer substitutes. Watch my interview at Boosh. I will have a link down in the description to where you can watch this fine gentleman, Brad Rudu, talk about tobacco, smoking, addiction, tobacco harm reduction. He talks, I mean, they go over, it, it's about an hour long, but it's incredible. Brad Rudu, Raw, raw Doe, that's his name, Brad Rado. <laughs> Brad Rado is just so pleasant to listen to. He's just so like well-spoken and like, he, I mean, I don't need to tell him that he knows this. He knows. If I told him, I'm like, wow, you're really smart and well-spoken. He'd go, I know, thank you. He just is. He's a delight to listen to and everything out of his mouth, you just want to kiss him on the face. You go, yes, yes, Brad Radu, yes. In this video, he talks about all, all sorts of things like even just simple things like not prejudging smokers, like not saying things like, you know, uh, why can't you quit? What's wrong with you? Changing that like simple nomenclature to things like, you know, are you unwilling to quit? Are you unable to quit? You know, treating people like a human and kind of meeting them where they are. He talks about tobacco use in other, you know, cultures and things like this. He talks about how he became fascinated with Sweden and how they have this extraordinarily high tobacco use, but the tobacco that they're using, yeah, it's snus. So, Nobody's getting cancer. They have the lowest cancer rates like across the whole European Union because they use a less harmful alternative. And Brad Rodu went there. Brad Radu went there and just to study under the doctors there talking about harm reduction. And I mean, this Swedish snooze harm reduction goes back, I mean, to the world wars type of thing. Like in World War II, Sweden sent their military out with yeah, snooze rations rather than like the United States, we sent our military out with, yeah, cigarette rations. So their military, Swedish military comes back fine, healthy, no lung cancer, no emphysema, no none of that nonsense. US, like US soldiers like my grandfather comes back from World War II, dies of COPD. Yeah. So it's a real thing. Brad Radu uh, he's just whatever my hero of the month. Uh, I love this dude. I would love to try to get this guy on, uh, TBN. So if you're watching Brad, Hey, have a beer. Think about coming on my live stream. We can talk about vaping. We can talk about snooze. We could talk about harm reduction. Uh, we could talk about, you know, stigmatizing things. And Brad's just a, Brad's just a really great guy. So I'm going to have those links down in the description as well. Oh, yo, yo, to ya. Not the real Gerard Butler. Lee, I didn't see you there. The legend's here tonight. Let me ask you real quick, legend. Do I look a little bit crooked? Is it like this much off? I feel I feel like a like an Adam West Batman villain right now. You know when you'd ever see the, the Riddler or something? It was always like at this angle. It's like, Batman. That's how I feel. I feel crooked. Well, it's just going to annoy me the whole vlog. That's fine. Uh, so... Moving on from that, uh, one more thing I wanted to mention before we get to this uh, mind control menace, which is spectacular. I got this uh, off of Twitter from Mig Vapor, who's in Florida. This is a letter that was sent from uh, UPS, which, listen, this has to be hurting UPS. I can't imagine this not hurting UPS, but they basically went through and said, look, our records indicate that you're currently a vaping product shipper with UPS. This letter is to provide you notice that effective April 15th, April 5th, UPS will no longer transport vaping products in the U.S. network, domestic shipments, import, and export. As a result, USPS will also cancel all U.S. dedicated vaping product accounts on this date. That has to hurt them. That can't not hurt them, right? How many vape businesses do business with UPS? 
I, I'm not picking my nose. I had like a thing. Okay, I'm picking my nose. How many vape businesses do stuff with UPS? It has to be hurting them. It has to be hurting them. And here's the thing. We can make it hurt them more. We can, you know, I'm assuming that no vapor moving forward is going to like ship with UPS since they voluntarily banned themselves. Congress didn't say UPS has to stop too. You, Congress didn't say FedEx has to stop too. They just took it of their own volition to, oh, we'll stop. We'll just fall in line because they don't want to be seen as going against public health. But what could change their mind? Our stories putting, we can certainly put the screws to them. We can let UPS know that we're not okay with this. We can tell UPS our stories. They're a private company. They're swayed by money and customers. It's not like the government. Ah, the government is swayed by money. Okay, never mind. But we can sway UPS as customers of theirs. I think, I don't know if it's enough to get it like overturned or if UPS will reconsider. Maybe they'll reconsider when they see their April numbers after they've canceled every vape account starting April 5th. But they go on to say, you know, look, this includes everything. This includes anything, uh, electronic cigars, electronic cigarillos, pipes, anything that you can vaporize, literally, basically anything. So all CBD vaporizers as well, all Delta 8 vaporizers as well. The cannabis industry is not happy with us at the moment. Additional information, blah, blah, blah. Here's your thing. Basically like, hey, thank you for being a customer for so long, but we're banning for no reason what you're shipping, even though it's helping people quit smoking. So take your business and go stuff it up your butt. That's what we got from UPS. So here's what I'll say. I don't know, F UPS, nobody use UPS. I hate like boycott UPS, but look, I'm a capitalist, I'm a libertarian. I definitely believe in boycotts. Can boycotts be as effective as they once used to be? Oh, maybe not. Are vapors mad enough at Marvel to do anything about it? Uh, Jeremy V, if you could make a timestamp for right now, because we're going to finish up this uh, Marvel's Department of Health and Human Services, FDA, the real cost campaign, the mind control menace. Now, last week on TBN, or just this last episode of TBN, uh, I, I ran through the first episode of this, and I was kind of looking forward to this. I thought they were going to release like weekly episodes of this, and I would get to break each one down because they're ridiculous, but they didn't do that. They released one, and then the next day they just released two, three, four, five, all of a sudden, and then they released them all together. Like, okay, here's one through five in one video. I'll post a link in the description to that video because that would be the video if you were to go comment. And I'm saying, be as polite as you want to be to Marvel. Marvel Disney, someone emailed me and was like, hey, you say Marvel like it's not part of Disney. It is part of Disney. I know, what are you gonna do? Boycott Disney? Good luck. Boycott Disney means don't go on the internet, burn your TV. That's what boycotting Disney means. But that doesn't mean we can't put the screws to them. So go to this video. I'll post a link in the description. Matt has a great comment on there. Tons of great comments on there. Let them know that this is dumb, <laughs> that this is against science. It's crazy. Maybe they won't renew their contract with the federal government. But in the first episode of The Mind Control Menace, and what The Mind Control Menace is for anybody that didn't catch the TBN, which look, I don't blame you, it's news and advocacy, right? The Mind Control Menace is a comic book, a video comic book that Marvel put together for the real cost campaign. And there's a few characters in it, and there's Todd, and there's a Caleb. That's why I said Caleb on the thumbnail. Caleb is a concerned friend because Todd's been vaping. So... The first episode, it's whatever. Todd was a basketball guy and he's vaping. He got caught vaping. This is where we last left Todd. Todd got caught vaping and then turned into like this, like went through this transformation and turned into like this green zombie, sort of green eyes. It's the evil green eyes, Neferon. It's the evil green eyes. That's how you know that someone's vaping. You know how you can tell someone's smoking? They're dead. They have COPD or emphysema or lung cancer or have had a stroke or have heart disease or something like that. Or they have the smoker's cough. The only way that you can tell someone's vaping in this comic is they seem off and obviously the, gr the, the glowing green eyes, you know, <laughs> obviously the growing green eyes. So that's where we left Todd. Now, here we go. Chapter two 
a growing threat. Starts off, and there's no, it's, this comic book is terrible. I wouldn't read this comic book again. The story doesn't make any sense. There's inconsistencies all over the place. And the episode two just kind of picks up days later. Days after Todd turned into the green vapor monster, people are just walking around in the hallways. But notice, there's some glowing green eyes in there. Yeah. There's some glowing green eyes in there. I absolutely agree, Ern. Absolutely. There's some glowing green eyes in there, you guys. No, at first, no one noticed. And this is just like, remember how Star Wars Episode 7, everyone's like, oh, that's just A New Hope rehashed? Episode 2 is just Episode 1 rehashed. I'm pretty sure they said this in the very first issue. No one noticed at first. At first, no one noticed. Look at this guy. He's just going about his day. He doesn't even see the glowing green-eyed zombie kid right next to him. Like, hi, he's literally right there. The changes were subtle, like everybody had glowing green eyes. Was that the first giveaway? The changes were subtle. Cut to basketball scene. Everybody has glowing green eyes. Look at everybody has glowing green eyes. For those who were affected, followed the same routine, had the same personality, at least at first. (laughs) I don't know if you've caught the gist of this yet, but the idea that they're trying to convey is that if you're a teenager or you pick up vaping or it's going to be different. You won't be the same person you were. You're going to become a different person. So cut to just one random scene of basketball. Cut to kids sitting in a what looks like a classroom, three kids. One guy says, hey, a female character with no name, what, what are you doing this summer? And she's like, oh, I don't know. And the other guy's like, what? You always have a plan. You're the type of person that plans their whole day before they get out of bed. And then she goes, it's fine. I'll figure it out. But glowing bad green eyes. Although those look a little bit yellow. Those look a little bit yellow to me. But I'm going to go ahead and say, I'm going to venture a guess and say, oh yeah, she's vaping. And the lesson we're learning here is if you vape, you will not be able to plan your summer vacation before school lets out. Don't, (laughs) don't let, don't let vaping ruin planning your summer vacation before school has let out. Cut to, but something seemed off. They just weren't quite the same. This is his. This is her confused friend going, what do you mean you don't have your summer planned yet? That seems very weird to me. It's very weird. Cut to just a weird scene outside, but as the day went on, that began to change. These are literally two scenes right next to each other but something seemed off. They just quite weren't the same. But as the days went on, that began to change. Wait, what began to change? It began to change that they didn't seem weird or it seemed weird and then they switched back to being normal. But as the day went on, things began to change. Purple hair girl with a cell phone notices glowing green eye people and that one guy, look in his hand, that is a mod. That is an obelisk with a fucking type two on it. That is a that is a Vupu Argus GT with a sub tank. Kids don't know about those, but we know that kids are curious and they'll probably see that and go, I don't know what's in that guy's hand. Glowing green eyes. That's how you know. I'm gonna vape real quick. If my eyes turn glowing green, will you please let me know? Seems fine, and I'm not even becoming that much of a jerk. So, outside, these things are happening. Cut to another random basketball shot, like the entire town was distracted or slightly out of step. Oh my God, the town. The town is slightly distracted. It feels like the town is slightly distracted. Do you realize if this were about smoking, it would be like, The whole town has lung cancer. 
Yeah, there's just body bags piling up in the street. Whole town has emphysema. Don't tell me the whole town is distracted. Now, here, here's, here's one of the inconsistencies I want to point out to you. Real, real nice consistency here, Marvel. You see number five here, who's just owning Todd because his eyes are glowing green and he's like, I vape. I forgot how to play basketball. And then number five is just, fuck yeah, owning Todd, like smacking the ball away from his hand. Well, in the previous shot, number five had glowing eyes. Nice story arc consistency, Marvel. Glowing eyes, not glowing eyes. Okay, sure. <laughs> that's <laughs> that's fine. The pacing of this comic, oh my God, you're not, yeah, the pacing of this comic is worse than trash. Worse than trash. It's really just a bunch of really random cut scenes. Cut two. The science team eating. Okay, so I need to give you a little bit of background. In the first episode, there was these weird scenes where these two teenagers that uh, were sitting in the science lab, and this whole story hinges on these two teenagers that invented a hat that lets you see your own future. Okay, keep that in <laughs> keep that in mind. It's not as like whatever. It's not as far fetched as like. Spider-Man giving birth to himself or like infinity stones. So it's whatever you have to accept <laughs> that in this scary vape world, there's a machine you can put on your head that makes you see your own future. Okay. Now that you have that background information, let's go back here. And so this guy's saying, so that's 30 people that we can think of in a town, this small, one of the, one of the recurring themes in this is this is a normal town. It's a normal town and it's a normal small town. And this is all very normal. And it's a normal high school in a small town. And this small town, it could be a lot like your small town. So they're sitting there and they're like, oh, talking trash about like, whoa, what's with all these people vaping? And then suddenly burger guy, burger guys over there glowing with his green glowing eyes because he's a vapor. And he just hears these two kids like literally just stigmatizing him and like talking shit about this guy that vapes. Yeah, that's the lesson we want to send. Definitely stigmatize people who do things other, you know, differently than you do. And so this poor guy, look, he works in food service. He's working a grill. He's, he was probably a smoker that switched to vaping. This guy made a healthy decision in his life, but it doesn't keep, keep these two fuckwits from just talking trash about him. And he's like, are they talking about me? So anyway, they continue talking for a little bit. They're like, how does this happen in such a small town? There's so many people acting mysterious. Oh, mysterious. I want to see Marvel do one of these on beer. Like, can you do one of these on alcohol? Like, oh, you know, drunk driving, kids experimenting with alcohol. Everybody's drunk. Billy crashed his car. So they, they leave this restaurant that they're in where they were just done shit talking poor burger guy. And so they go outside. Uh oh, it's fist guy. They walk outside to fist guy. This is aggressive. Because Fist Guy, big twist, turns out to be all their friends, but now they all look like jerks and they all have glowing green eyes. Keep in mind, no one has mentioned vaping or e-cigarettes at all in this so far. There's just a mysterious green fog that's making people seem a little bit off. That's that's where we're at. How much was Marvel paid for this crap? Probably a lot. Because here's the thing. Marvel just wants money. Marvel, I don't really think Marvel has a has a like a, a dog in this race. When 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 they got this juicy government lucrative juicy government contract Marvel did, I don't think they went, "Okay, wait, hang on you guys. Are we sure that we want to do an anti-vaping, let's do it. I don't think Marvel went, let's do a deep dive on vaping and see if we want to get paid whatever exorbitant dump truck full of money that FDA just backed up to Marvel offices. Let's hold off and make sure we're really, no, they saw the money and they went, cool. How many episodes do you need? 
Turns out they need five. So all of their friends are going, and look, this is, this is supposed to represent peer pressure, right? That's all that's going on here. It's friends who are peer pressuring them into vaping. They have glowing green eyes. That seems aggressive to me to have a clenched fist portraying that vapors would be violent. Is that what we're telling kids that watch out for vapors because they'll be violent? They'll do anything they can to hook you on nicotine because because nicotine, you know, it seems violent twist. It was the friends. And then so, uh, Javier, he goes, Oh, Hey, you know, he comes out and he's all nervous. Oh, Hey, hey guys. Uh, anyone want to tell us what's going on here? We're, we're just, uh, we're just passing through. We don't, we don't want any trouble from you guys, from you guys with the green glowing eyeballs. Then, you won't believe what happens next. Hang on to your tits because they start like vapor bending or something. They all like, like get down into these like fighting stances and the, the vapor starts like swirling around them. Like I literally expected that kid in the blue hoodie to just go uh, and like run forward with like lines passing by him, you know, just Yu-Gi-Oh style. I literally thought that's what was going to happen. But no, it gets <laughs> it gets weirder than that. In fact, after this scene, that is where chapter two ends. Ooh, are you on the edge of your seat? Because this comic book, let me tell you how poorly it's written, and it doesn't really make any sense, especially since nobody's mentioned vaping at all so far. They don't mention it until the very, very very end. So that's chapter two. You want to quickly, I have like three slides to get through the fucking, the whole rest of it. So you never have to go watch this video. You want to just do spoilers? Should we just do spoilers? Yeah. Evil green lanterns. They're kind of evil green lanterns, I guess. You want to just do spoilers? So chapter three was uh, nowhere to run. Chapter four was, I don't know, vaping will punch you in the dick. Chapter five was vaping literally killed me. No, chapter five was something positive, like uh, fighting, you know, fighting back or something like that. So the vapor benders, how much time do we have left? Oh, we're doing good on time. We're doing actually great on time. And if you haven't yet, please hit that like button. It would just, it, it really helps me out a lot. Um, YouTube hates vape videos. And, uh, you know, Philip DeFranco was talking about YouTube has been suppressing my videos for fucking ever. It's ridiculous. Like anything, literally anything helps. One little thumbs up. Look, I'll give you a fist bump. If you give me a thumbs up, I would really appreciate it. So look, these guys, they start uh, vapor bending. Like look at the guy in the back just with his arms up, just, just, just pulling vapor, vapor bending or something. And <laughs> what ends up happening is they all converge and morph into this fucking ridiculous vapor uh, monster with the glowing eyes, man. They all, like you can see the humans are the teeth of this, uh, of this vape, of this green vape monster, you know. <laughs> it turns into this monster and it starts chasing them like this monster chases them and like this monster has some sort of like vapor tentacles that it can grab people so it starts chasing her and she's like how do we fight those and she's you know it's really like slightly actiony like she's grabbing like what appear to be these big tangible vapor arms that are grabbing her and she's like breaking them and like punching them it doesn't go well for her she gets pulled in she gets pulled in by the vapor monster, and there's this scene. And I won't spoil it for you. She turns, you know, she turns around. It's like green glowing eyes. It's like, oh, peer pressure got her. Peer pressure got her. Such a great science student. The giant green vapor monster with glowing green eyes got her. She started vaping. Yeah, and so Javier, he's he's at his last. He there. It's the green monster is like coming down, like about to just envelop Javier here. So what does Javier do? No. 
He just screams no, and guess what happens? The green monster just goes away, just disappears, just gone. Just say no. Just say no. Didn't, uh, who said that? In the, Nancy fucking Reagan said that in the 80s. Just say no. Recycling that catchphrase. Everybody remembers dare, right? Yeah, I remember dare in seventh grade. I remember getting out of dare and then uh, smoking a joint with the new kid. That's what I remember from dare. So we're recycling, just say no. And they leave and he goes, how did I do that? I must be so powerful. How did I stop the, who, you know, Dr. Strange? Can he just said no. And he's like, I need to tell everybody to just say no so that the green glowy eyed vapor monster thing won't chase you anymore. And so what does he do? He doesn't do that. He doesn't say, he doesn't go back and like tell everybody to say no. What he does is he goes back to his science lab where he and the girl who just got enveloped by the vapor monster, they were working on the future hat <laughs> that you put on and you can see your own future. So he's like, I'm gonna go work on this future hat. So he goes and works on the future hat. The girl comes over and he's like, bam, slams it on her head. Javier slams the machine on her head. Javier used the machine to show Amy conflicting futures. <laughs> what was and what could be conflicting futures. That's look, you're scraping the bottom of the creative barrel here, Marvel. Your story about anti-vaping hinges on that teenagers built a hat that can see the future. All <sighs> right. All right, that's fine. Doesn't Wolverine smoke a cigar? Okay, that's fine. And so she pulls this off her head. She's like, oh my gosh, thank you for showing me that. I never, my life, if I vaped, would have been out of, it would have been bad. I would have been bad. You know, my life would have been ruined because of this vaping. And so she's like, we, we need to put this hat on everybody's head. And he's like, we can't do that. It's only one hat. And so she goes, I have a plan. So they get a bunch of their friends together to build like what looks like a giant supercomputer. It looks like a like some sort of weird gaming rig with lots of arms and like antennas and things. So they basically turn this hat into like a broadcaster, right? That would, whoever this hit, they would see their own future. You know, they like fall on the gro ground and go into these like convulsions while they're seeing their future with vaping involved in it and how their future is going to be ruined. And so that's what they do. They just broadcast it out and everybody who's vaping just falls to the ground in agony letting everyone see the consequences of this thing inside them. Look at these poor basketball players. What if they lost the game because of this? Like, who are these selfish kids getting into their heads? What if they lost the game because of this? They're just convulsing, falling on the ground, seeing, oh my God, my life with vaping is terrible. I can't vape anymore. And then that's it, the end. Or is it if you vape, nicotine addiction can take control of you? And if you let it take control of you, there's no way to quit unless your very talented teenage friends have built some sort of hat beacon transmitter that lets you see your own future. And then finally, boom, right there, there it is. Paid for by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration. Our own U.S. FDA created this. That's what we're up against in the United States. And that is shitty. That is shitty. Messaging like this is supposed to be laser targeted at teens. That's what FDA said. They said, our, tar our advertising can dissuade adults, which we don't want to do. So we'll have to just prevent them from seeing it. Adults are seeing this. They, they're probably not taking it seriously. Please, God, don't let anybody take this seriously. But adults are definitely seeing this. It's just uploaded on the Marvel YouTube channel. And it was pretty hilarious. I mean, I talked about this on TBN, but the comments like were so confusing. They didn't know what was going on on the one that they finally just released. That's all five episodes in one video. That's where you want to go comment to voice your sort of disgust, I guess, at Marvel. And if you're subscribed to Marvel, just unsubscribe from them. That will actually show them what has happened. So there you go. Our own federal government 
The Food and Drug Administration, in partnership with the Department of Health and Human Services, they created the Real Cost Campaign. They drove a dump truck full of money up to Disney Marvel and said, hey, make five episodes about, I don't know, whatever you want. Make vaping look bad. And so they went, how about a giant green vapor monster that can only be killed by uh, a future vision sort of hat machine? Sounds great. So shout out to Marvel for whatever, doing dumb shit like that. And that's going to wrap up the news and advocacy segment. I'll have links throughout the description of basically everything that I talked about. I am going to include a link. And it's not that I want this to get more views. I just want it to get more negative comments. In fact, don't thumbs it up or thumbs it down because that affects the algorithm. Just go comment something negative on it. That's what I would say. That's what I would say. I don't know. Look, people are going to get views. It's going to get views anyway. In fact, you don't even have to go give it, give it a view. You can go and just pause it and leave a comment and then close the video and it won't count that as a view. It won't count that as a view. Plus, I gave you literally all the best parts. <laughs> that is 100% all of the best parts. And uh, Sopa, you're still right. The pacing in this comic is trash. And if you go watch it, there's no dialogue or anything. It's just like moving still frames. You know, it's like that basketball shot. It's just like parallax scrolling with, it's got one theme song that goes over the whole thing. And it sounds something like this. Ready? It's just this like anxiety inducing, like even just listening to it, I'm like, it's just like anxiety inducing music. That's over the whole thing. The whole thing, good scenes, bad scenes. So go check it out if you want to actually lose brain cells. Look, I'm not going to tell you what to do with your life, but uh, anyway, that's going to wrap it up, I guess, for the news and advocacy segment. I was just kidding. We're doing terribly on time and we will be running long. Let's do a couple of super chats because I know some came in. I'm glad that I love water so much. It makes it easy to stay hydrated. Hydro homies. Hydro homies. What's up, hydro homies? How you doing? You guys like Marvel still? Uh, I'm just kidding. Nick Nolan, yo yo to all the cool kids co club. Uh, avoid vape tongue, hydrate hydro homies. Nick, yeah, we just did. But you know what? I'm never going to say no to some hydration. Vape and Jedi, yo yoing Nick. Here for the live, but we'll catch you on the yo yo hangs later. Yeah, that's right. Yo yo hangs later in the Discord Zoom. AJ, can you please review the Uto Switch disposable vape, particularly the pina colada and pineapple ice? I mean, I'll try, but the chances of that are uh, pretty slim to none. Uh, uh, David, that's very gracious of you. A little hazer love. For Nick, for all you do for the community, thanks. Hell yeah, David. Fuck yeah. Shout out Hazers. I appreciate that, man. A dick roller. Green eyes equal mint menthol pod. Yellow. Oh, mango. Yellow eyes equal a mango pod. I didn't know. Was there like a <laughs> was there like a diagram? A dick roller? Or are you Sherlock Holmes? You just discovered that on your own. Bill G, you didn't say anything. You didn't have to. I appreciate that. Eifer, yo, yo, Nick, I just want to say I've never been this disappointed in Marvel. I was hoping for more integrity, as we all should. It's really bizarre seeing a company as, and I hate this word, woke as Marvel putting something like this out. Like Disney and Marvel are supposed to be pretty woke, Right? I mean, that's the terminology that I hear a lot of people using. And this is like Gina Carino. That's why she's fired. We're so woke. We're so progressive. Let's do a drug war style vaping prohibition video. Yeah, definitely. 
All right. Well, look, uh, Disney filmed uh, Mulan in communist China where they, you know, uh, look, <laughs> it's communist China and uh, nobody cared. So I don't, I doubt they're going to be taken down for uh, an anti-vaping uh, PSA. Since Disney owns Marvel, was the decision to make this, di- look, I, I don't know. Was it Disney or Marvel? I don't know. It was probably both. It was probably Disney since Disney owns Marvel. I, I mean, I don't know the intricacies of who owns the digital rights to Marvel or whatever, something like that. But since Disney owns Marvel, I'm assuming it was a Disney choice ultimately. Uh, hey, Grim, but I mean, sh- same thing. What are you going to do? Boycott Disney? I mean, do it. If you want to do it, do it. I'm not going to. I can't possibly. But that doesn't mean I have to just sit and take it and be like, okay, Disney, everything you do is perfect. No, you can voice your concern. Like I said, you can put the screws to them. Chris Cullen. Hey, Grim, my girlfriend has been cigarette free for two months after being a dual user. Fucking A, Chris Cullen. That's what I love to hear. Dual use is, is a thing. It's important. Awesome. Good on you. Appreciate that. I for, okay, going to get back to writing my pro vaping, coming with vaping superheroes to take down corrupt politicians and big tobacco companies. Yeah. All you'd need is one villain. You just need Bloomberg. Like Bloomberg could be the main villain. And it's kind of like a total recall, like Quaid type of thing. Like Matt Myers lives in Mike Bloomberg's stomach. Like Mike Bloomberg pulls up his shirt. He's like, I don't know if you're ready to meet Matt Myers. And Matt Myers comes out like all gross and slimy, like in total recall. And he's like, vaping youth epidemic, you know, that could be your bad guy. I just, this comic book writes itself. I for comic. Yeah, I got you there. I appreciate that. Brandon, uh, there's 253 listed tobacco users in the Marvel universe, but yes, tobacco good, vaping bad. Yeah. Is there 253 listed tobacco users? I know there's a lot of smokers and I know Wolverine definitely smokes a cigar all the time. That's really interesting, Brandon. Where'd you get that? Some sort of a uh, Wikipedia research right there? That's fine. I, I trust Wikipedia. Zaddy Vapes was planning on taking the kids to Disneyland, but will not be doing that anymore. Knott's Berry Farm, here we come. Absolutely. Vote with your dollars. Vote with your dollars. I'm probably still going to go to Disneyland. I mean, I'm definitely going to go to Disneyland. I'm not going to not go to Disneyland because Marvel did an anti-vaping PSA. They won't get the... It doesn't... Your boy, if you're going to... To, to, to speak your concerns to a company, if you're going to vote with your dollars, you, they have to know why that this is happening. They're just, they're not going to notice if I don't just go to Disneyland this year. They're not going to go, where did Nick Green go? Is he going to Knott's Berry Farm now? I wonder what we did to get him to do it. Now, if I could get four or 5,000 people in Southern California to all boycott Disneyland, I would do it in a heartbeat. It, w- faster than a heartbeat. Quicker than a heartbeat quicker than a heartbeat. But uh, listen, Zaddy Vapes, honestly, Knott's Berry Farm is fucking fun. Enjoy Knott's Berry Farm. Ride the uh, ride the Accelerator and ride Ghost Rider. Ghost Rider is a really classic like wooden roller coaster. And the Accelerator, it just, it's like zero to 90 in like one second. You're just, your brain comes out the back of your head. It's pretty fun. Uh, Brandon says, hey, Nick, I don't know if you've seen the mail I sent over a month ago. I know you're busy, but I would love to hear back from you. I'll double check. I'm getting mostly caught up on my emails now. Uh, I don't think I have anything that's over a month old. So hit me up again, Brandon. I apologize. Uh, Chris, three year vape anniversary today. (laughs) Replay crew just wanted to celebrate today. Thank you for all the advice and guidance on my journey. Keep on vaping. Chris Boosh. In fact, I'm going to give you an over the mic Boosh right there, Chris. Congratulations, dude. That's awesome. Hashtag replay crew. Awesome. I honestly, I'm glad I'm happy. I could just be a part of it. I'm glad I was able to be helpful in any capacity at all. One more Eifer might have missed it. Did you read my first super chat? Yeah. About the comic books. I've never been more disappointed in Marvel. Yep. That's all I got from you. Eifer. That's all I got from Eifer. That's all I got from Eifer. Uh, and also thank you, Dick Roller for the, uh, you know, green eyes means mint, yellow eyes means mango. That is, that is, that is genius. That, that puts the comic in a whole other context, doesn't it? All right. I have wasted too much time. Damn it. I don't know what we're going to have time left to do tonight. Son of a, why does vaping advocacy always take so long?
Uh, shout out to uh, 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 Anthony Ramella. I haven't seen you around, Anthony Ramella. Ah, but I'm still using your, uh, you know, it's like rosemary lavender garbage bags. Rosemary lavender garbage bags. But as I said, I have a whole mess of mail. In fact, I want to make a correction from last week. The Stormtrooper apron that I got, that was my gift from my mom. Yeah, my mom bought me that. So shout out to you, mom. Love you. Thank you for the Stormtrooper apron. I'm going to make another cake. I'm going to make another cake video. I'm going to make another baking video or something like that. Not quite sure. Damn, this beer is good. So these are, I'm assuming, birthday gifts. And I ho really hope they have notes. That's all I can hope. What? Who's this from? A fucking Anthony Ramella. What? Anthony Ramella? <laughs> okay. Here's the thing, Anthony Ramella. You're going to be so mad at me, but I'll correct this. I will correct this. I will correct this, Anthony Ramella. Anthony Ramella bought me Serenity on DVD. <laughs> so... Here's the thing. I never watched Firefly. Yeah, I never did. I, I never watched it. And I heard that it was really, really good. And I really, I heard that Serenity was really, really good. So Anthony, in honor of you getting me this for my birthday, I, I'm going to watch Firefly and I'm going to watch Serenity. It's, it's a time enough. Look, it, it's, it's been long enough, right? That's ridiculous. I have, I have had years to watch this TV show, and I still haven't. But thank you, Anthony Ramella. That's very cool of you. Oh, there's some more. Dude, there's a record in here. Are you kidding me? All right, let's see who this gift was from. I can just rip it right out of there. Oh, the crows. Oh, the crows. Thomas Crow. Thomas Crow, I love you, man. I want to, I want to, Thomas Crow, uh, I love you. you. Thomas Crow was my first patron. Thomas Crow was my first patron and, uh, he, he's stuck with me like through thick and thin. He's always positive. He, he's always there for you. I, I got to meet him. We went to Disneyland. We rode some rides with him and his family and yeah, watch Firefly first. I definitely will Mowgli vapes. And so shout out to Thomas Crow because him and his family are awesome. They're so kind to me and Casey, and he got me a freaking birthday gift, and you didn't have to. What? Oh, bourbon glasses? You son of a bitch. Bourbon glasses? Oh, that's sick as tits. And, and rocks. So you don't bruise your booze, man. Is there a bogan in the house? There's a bogan in the house. Bogan, I got I got some bourbon rocks. Put these in the freezer. Throw them in your bourbon. That way you can drink your bourbon. Doesn't water it down. Ugh, come on. Fuck yeah, bourbon glasses. Dude, that's sick. Thomas Crow, uh, thank you. Seriously, thank you. For, for believing in me. Thank you for being a patron. Thank you for this, for these awesome cups and rocks. I, I can't thank you, bro. Seriously. That's awesome. You don't, you don't owe me anything. You don't owe me anything, bro. That's fucking cool. I'm going to drink bourbon tonight on the post blog hangs. We're drinking bourbon, man. We're drinking bourbon. All right. I got another one from Amazon. I'm going to save these. You guys like opening birthday presents with me? This is so fun. Fuck yeah, Thomas Crow. The man, the myth, the legend. That's Thomas Crow right there, man. Sup, Bogan? What are you doing, bro? Uh, who is this from? Happy birthday, Nick. This totally made me laugh. You, you still have something coming, but I thought you'd enjoy this and maybe get some use out of it. COVID has made me a social hermit. But you're, oh, Yvonne, Yvonne, thank you for this. <laughs> Holy shit. I can't get it out of here. It keeps spinning. 
Oh, did you want to have some shed time? Oh, did you want to grind it in a Death Star? Just curious, BT dubs. Here's the thing, Yvonne. I may never use this ever. It feels like a nice grinder. I might use this for, uh, I might use this, Yvonne. I legitimately might use this. I might use this for the volcano when I'm volcanoing. I might use this tonight. It's hard to use a Death Star grinder though. You don't want to mess it up. You know, it's a collectible. Thank you, Daryl. I appreciate that very much, man. Yeah, I had my birthday was April 6th. I'm old now, so it's whatever. These things happen. It'll happen to you. It happens to everybody. It'll happen to you too. But, uh, you know, it's whatever. Oh, look. UPS. <laughs> Spit on this. I'm just kidding. Spit on this packaging. Oh, here's a QP. This is unrelated. This is a QP product. You just woke up, Bogan? See, this is what's going to be difficult about us trying to do any stream together or like a build stream, bro. Our time is just wonky beyond wonky. What is this, a prank? I'm just kidding. QP Designs, what you got for me? Ooh, I almost cut through something. That wasn't healthy. Oh, I did cut through something. Sliced through the snow cotton. <laughs> but I got some QP Designs snow cotton. Sure, man. I want to try different cottons. I always like trying different cottons. Anything that'll help my vape feel better. So we got some QP snow cotton. What else do we got? Oh, we got a 25 millimeter fatality RDA, RTA. How cool is it that we got an RTA during RTA month on the build streams? I think you know what we're gonna be doing on Monday and that's a 25 millimeter QP designs RTA. Fucking A, that's cool. I've been on such an RTA kick. What are you? Oh, cool. Hey, look. Build kit. Remember build kits? This looks to be a pretty solid build kit, too. It comes with multiple screwdrivers. I think there's another one from QP in here, actually, too. Fuck yeah, Fatality. Anybody tried the Fatality? Show of hands. If you've tried the Fatality in the comments, let me know down in the comments below. If you tried the Fatality 25, give me a little heads up. What am I, what am I supposed to, what am I looking to expect here? Good things, bad things, medium things. Yeah, see, this is the other QP box. QP box, no? I can't tell. I just, who can tell anymore? Can't tell anymore. Holy crap, we're doing the retro vaping next and I can't wait. Retro vaping, do you like retro vaping? Now, now, now. If I'm old, you're, we're all old. Look, we're all, we're all old. Everybody's getting older literally every second. You're older right now than you were when the vlog started. Think about that, bro. Does that wrinkle your mind grapes? Cause it kind of just wrinkled my mind grapes. Oh, look at that. I got some sediment down there in the bottom. Look at that sediment flowing around down there. The trick is to swirl it back in so you can drink it. Fatality 25 is one of your very best, Dakota? Dang. I don't know if I've ever tried the Fatality 25 RTA. I don't know that I've ever tried it. I know it's an older RTA. Wasn't this from 2017? 2016, 2017, I thought. I remember seeing these at one ECC when QP had their booth inside in that weird room where we had our booth. Anyway, um, I got some... Uh, what are you? Majesty. QP's doing liquids now? Fruit? I love these labels. I love this branding. There's uh, This one looks like a tobacco, BNC. You know, I still have Eric Vinyl and Vapors tobacco that I want to try too. This has got to be a peach cape sash, BNC. That looks like a tobacco, 12 milligram. Nice. 12 milligram tobacco. I love 12 milligram tobacco. All right. I didn't know QP was doing liquid. Did you know QP was doing liquids? 
I had no idea. Fatality 25 is the best RDA ever. Uh, whoa, Iron Vapor. Whoa. Can I, uh, can I screenshot that and share it on the Monday build stream? I'm gonna be like, look, Iron Vapor said that this was the best RDA ever, and it's not, it's an RTA. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I know you meant RTA. I didn't know QP was doing uh, liquids, that's cool. All right, Firefly Serenity, it's gonna happen. Firefly Serenity is gonna happen. All right, what is this? <gasps> Toonie, Toonie, Toonie. Oh, I'm way past 42, Frankenmeiser. Don't even trip, dog. Toonie, Addy Toonie, show yourself in the chat. <laughs> I can never, there, there's one person in the vape world, in the vape community that I can never say enough nice things about, and that is going to be our very own Addy Toonie. He has been, uh, there for me as long as I can remember. Like 2014, Addy Tooney crossed my path. He's been a supporter. He's been a cheerleader. He's been an advocate. He's in everybody's chats. He's a moderator all over the place all night long. He's posting links just for you to follow. Please follow Michelle Mitten on Twitter. Follow Michelle Mitten. She's awesome. He advocates every single day. I want a hundred Addy Toonies. I want more of you, dude. You're, you're one of the good ones, man, and I can't say enough good things about you, and now you've sent me birthday gifts, and I, and I don't deserve it. Huck and Yig, oh my gosh. Hey, Nick. Hey, Pickle. Pickle! Toonie says hi. Modern version of Yig with a hint of Huckleberry and one of my all-day vapes. Wait, one of your all-day vapes? Cream de menthe cake. Is this one of your all-day vapes? All right, um, let's put cream de menthe cake up in the uh, up in the random liquid tasting. Is this uh, one and a half milligram? Yeah, it's Addy Tooney, so it's gonna be one and a half milligram. Every liquid I've ever got from Addy Tooney has always been one and a half milligram. That's just what he vapes, dude. And he va he's been vaping that for I think as long as I've known him. When we first met Addy Tooney in uh, VPX in Niagara Falls. You were on 1.5 milligram there too, back in 2015. Yeah, Addy Tooney is, uh, we need more Addy Toonies. Everybody, let's all try to be way more like Addy Tooney, you know? I agree, Nick. Dakota, I completely agree. Addy Tooney's a legend. All right, well, we're putting 1.5 milligram creme de menthe cake in tonight's very random liquid tasting. It might not get up on the uh, scoreboard, Addy Tooney, but it's officially getting added to the rotation. Oh, and then we got a yig. We got a huckleberry yig. Huckleberry? Huckleberry. Have I ever even had a huckleberry? What does a huckleberry look like? What is a huckleberry? I've never even heard of huckleberries. I mean, I've heard of huckleberry hound, but I thought that was a funny joke. Addy Tooney. That Huckleberry Yig could be, uh, you could really be onto something there. Well, and look, and it's all DIY, so we got the recipes as well. Dude, thank you, uh, Toonie, thank you. In fact, honestly, just giving me some recipes like this of liquids that you like, like your all-day vape, that is a huge gift. Like, especially in this, like, post-vape mail ban age, I I'm going to be doing some DIYs, and I'd love to have some dope recipes of, like, people that I love and respect I want to vape what you vape. You know, I want to know what you, I want to know what you, what I don't want, I want to know what kept you off of cigarettes. You know, Addy, I love you. I can't tell you that enough, man. I literally cannot tell you that enough. Okay. You gotta know, you gotta know. Okay. And then lastly, this is it. This is a, this is a record. Is this uh Cullen? Are you here? Chris Cullen? Is this from you? Hang on, I gotta keep these notes. Is this from you, Chris Cullen? How are we doing on time? Bad, we're doing bad on time. This is a record, and I actually don't have a Getting to Know Grim Green uh, record picked out for tonight. So, and I only excluded it because I was just assuming we were gonna run long. I was just assuming we were gonna run long, you know? Blueberry, that's it, blueberries? Okay, huckleberry, blueberry. 
Really, they're like blueberries. Okay, look, I'm into a wild berry. Uh, I'm into a wild berry liquid. All right, be sure to check out the vinyl is limited. Oh, Chris Cullen, damn it. You didn't have to do this, but thank you. I very much appreciate it. Now, I don't like I said, I don't have a record really picked out tonight for getting to know Grim Green, um, just because I knew we'd be running long, but let's see what's in here. Oh, you motherfucker. You son of a bitch. All right. I guess we do have a record for getting to know Grim Green tonight. This is Ghost. This is hella ghost. Yeah, let's just shit. Let's throw two songs from this record. Let's let's mark it, dude. Mark it. That represents the, literally the end of the vape mail. Let's jump right into getting to know Grim Green. Can I find my my bumper? Yeah. Let's get to know Grim Green literally right now because Chris Cullen sent me a ghost record. Chris Cullen, thank you very much. Very, very much. Now, this is the first ghost record. This is this is an incredible, this is really an incredible record. Um, I remember the first time I heard Ghost, and Ghost is one of those bands that you don't really forget the first time you hear it. They're really very unique. In fact, man, if we go way back in my YouTube way back in my YouTube to let's say the year is 2012. I don't think I don't think Dopana Rope has got there yet. But let's say that the year is 2012 and I am uploading every Sunday because I have a full-time job at this point. I'm uploading every and I haven't got a haircut yet and I apologize. It's going to happen soon, man, because this this is unacceptable. This this whole situation is is unacceptable my hair is way too long i feel like 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 gandalf with long gray hair so i definitely need a haircut okay anyway that's besides the point ghost you don't forget the first time you hear ghost because it's such a unique sound and then when you hear their lyrics you're kind of like what? are they singing about satan a lot <laughs> but like in a really like approachable way i guess i would say it's like rock music. That's really the only way to describe Ghost as rock music. And back in 2012, I had first discovered Ghost. And when I was uploading the Sunday double feature, I used to upload two reviews every Sunday. I called it the Sunday double feature. It was just my thing that I did. Should I keep, should I pick that up again? Sunday double feature? <laughs> mullet. No, I can't, I can't grow a mullet, Bogan. I know, I know. I can't. It's not even a mullet. Like it's just legitimately long balding hair. I look like I, if I, it, like I could be your science teacher. I feel like I could just be your science teacher. I part my hair over on this way. I could be like, okay, everybody settle down. Don't make me flip the lights on and off. I could be your world history teacher. It's just long and out of hand and it keeps me from sleeping well because it's whatever. I just have long gray hair. I'm old man Grim. That's fine. Grandpa Grim. In the Sunday double feature, Ghost was my music. That's the point that I'm trying to get to. I used a little clip from Conclave Con Dio. I just used to use that. It's this this one rockin' part. And I used to use that as my Sunday double feature, like, you know, catch music. Like, I don't know, Sunday double feature. That's what I used. Ghost is a rock band that sings about the devil. And there's really nothing more that you can ask from rock other than to sing about the devil. I mean, sure, you want them to sing about like getting rowdy, uh, drinking beer. They want to sing about the devil. Sometimes rock bands like to sing about, you know, riding dragons and storming castles and such as. But really, Ghost just sings about Satan. And it's kind of just like their gimmicky thing. They made Satan a gimmick almost, but they did it in a really creatively awesome way. I got to see Ghost live once. They played, uh, they opened for Caveller Talk and Mastodon. And when Ghost came out, the whole stage was like a cathedral, you know, very King Diamond, very cathedral, very like stained glass windows. And then, you know, Papa Emeritus comes out with his big hat and the big upside down cross on it. And he's like waving incense and like waving his hands and all of the ghouls in the back are just with masks on playing guitars. And it was a really very cool experience. If you're not into metal, you'll like this. 
you definitely will like this. It's 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 melodic and rocky, and you can sing along to all the choruses. But like some of the choruses, you might be singing about like burning human flesh and things like that. But in a really like positive way. In fact, here let's just throw two songs from this Ghost album. I, I don't even remember the name of this album. E E E posthumous, something like that. E B P. Ghost Band. There you, go. you have to search for them. Ghost Official. Yeah, they're Swedish. There's a Swedish band. When Ghost first came out, because they wore makeup and masks and they were from Sweden, literally everybody was speculating like, oh, I wonder who Ghost is. People were like, oh, is it members of Goldfinger? Oh, is it members of In Flames? Oh, is it members of, you know, all these Swedish bands? Nope. Turns out it was none of them. What is the first? Yeah, Opus Eponymous. Opus Eponymous, Opus Eponymous. That's this album. And the two songs that we're putting on there, Con Clavi Con Dio, I can't not put on there because that was my Sunday double feature. And then, of course, Ritual, because Ritual is the song that is really happy and singy and like harmonies and like, hey, 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 hey. but they're singing about... Uh, rotting corpses and like human sacrificing, like sacrificing humans in this ritual of misery. It's interesting. It's like metal vocals on like really approachable, like radio friendly, melodic, harmonious rock music. It's ghost and you can't not love ghost. And I love ghost. So there you go. Getting to know grim green. Thank you, Chris Cullen for the ghost record. This will go on Saturday. This is house cleaning music on Saturday. Okay. I, I'm a big fan of Ghost. I rocked a Ghost t-shirt for a really long time until, uh, well, until I got too chubby for it and couldn't do it anymore. It's got, uh, I'm assuming he said it's a special edition. So yeah, fucking A, there you go. There's some sick Ghost action for you. They do that big upside down cross G. Oh yeah, look at this vinyl. What? That is sparkly green Ghost vinyl. Holy shit, that's cool. That is cool as hell, Chris Cullen. It's glitter. It's like glitter in green vinyl. It just makes it look dirty, kind of. <laughs> but fucking A. And, you know, Rise Records, they're a great record label. I've liked a lot of Rise bands. And so Ghost was a band that I discovered while I was in uh, Glacier. My buddy Rich... Showed up for band practice one day. He's like, have you heard Ghost? No. Plays him. I was like, well, this is my favorite band. That's it. Just one, like 18 seconds into the first song. I was like, oh, I love this. I love this. I love this. I love this. Like you just, it just escalates. The more you hear Ghost, the more you go, ah, yes, I love this. Anyway, that's going to wrap up uh, the vape mail segment. If there were some super chats that came in, now's the time to do it. Okay, okay, okay. Let's get out of there. Uh, I don't exactly remember where I left off. Um, Anthony Ramella. Oh, Anthony Ramella is here. Eifer, uh, Eifer, I may have missed it. Did you read my... Oh, yeah, that's right. We couldn't find the case of the missing super chat. Mech Soldier, awesome vlog, man. Gotta run. I'll finish it up on the replay. Mech Soldier, I appreciate you intensely, brother. Thank you so much, man. Uh, I was trying to think of something like mech soldiery, I could say like, uh, fight, be fight, uh, be a soldier with a mech mod. I don't know. Sorry, mech soldier. That one real, that joke really fell flat. <laughs> Anthony Ramella, you're a ragtime pal. Anthony Ramella, Anthony Ramella, uh, watch the box set of Firefly first, then the movie, the movie wraps everything up. Joss Whedon rocks. Love you. Happy birthday. Look, Joss Whedon rocks. Except for Justice League, but that's none of my business. Eifer, uh, take my love, take my land, take me where I cannot stand. I don't care. I'm still free. You can't take the sky from me. Is that from Firefly? Because that's cool as hell. I'm on board with Firefly. Look, I'm already on board with Firefly. Even after watching Community and watching Abed talk about Firefly so much, I was like, okay, I have to watch Firefly. Gabriel. You didn't say anything you didn't have to. I appreciate that. Kevin K, yo, yo, Nick and Pick. Pickle, Kevin says hi. 
I've got some fantastic DIY recipes for liquid barn flavorings I want to send your way. I'll be sending you nitro vanilla porter. No questions asked, Kevin. No questions asked, Kevin. Appreciate that, man. Recipes? Fuck yeah, recipes. Fun fact, huckleberries are uh, impossible to farm grow, so scientists are trying to engineer blueberries that taste more like their wild cousins. Oh, crap. So they're wild blueberries that just don't grow domesticated? Anthony Ramella, I sent the box set of Firefly also. Maybe it's still at the post office. Never thought I'd see the day when Grimm's hair was longer than Bogan's. I know. It's a weird time to be alive right now. I mean, just truly and honestly, look at what's going on in the world, and then look at this right now. Take a screenshot of Grim Green from like 2017 and compare it to a screenshot of Grim Green from 2021 and I am I look worse. I look tired. I look I look beat up with long hair and a weird handlebar mustache. But you know what? I'm just embracing it, man. The older I get, the less I care. And that that's a wonderful thing. I didn't know that you sent the fucking Firefly box set. Okay, I'll it could I'll go ch- Check it tomorrow, Anthony Ramella. If you sent that, I will wa- I will sit down and watch it. No questions asked. Fishy, how you doing, bro? Just set up my first Asgard 30 millimeter. Holy effing balls. So good, right? Yeah. The Asgard has made it out of the closet and in back into no man's land. And really, as you know, that's just a step away from being on the desk. My Asgard's coming back out again. Ghost is a theater show. Way cool. Yeah. Very, very theater show. Very, very theater show. But it's fun, you know? It's just one of those things you can't not have fun with Ghost. You can't you can't not love him. Nick Nolan, boosh, there's 199 for you, bro. Appreciate that. Gabriel, is the Trishul semi-mech a first good mech? Trishul semi-mech? Did you spell that incorrectly or am I just reading this poorly? Um, I don't recognize that name, but I'm going to look. Mike Vapes has a review for it. So Mike Vapes is probably going to be the guy to go to. Looks like a 21700. Yeah, it's got a Delrin thing. It's got a continuous contact. It's got a five hybrid 510, so just be careful. But otherwise, it kind of looks like a rocket mod. Check out Mike Vapes. That's the thing. Mike Vapes is like, Mike Vapes. It's like any any product that you have a question about, Mike Vapes has a review for it. Yeah. No questions asked. He just does. I turned off my airflow by accident. All right. So what we're going to do right now is I'm going to, uh, I'm going to bio break real quick. Hang on. Let me put this in. I'm going to bio break real quick, but we're going to come back and we're going to do a very random liquid tasting and a retro vaping, like, you know, kind of very similar at the same time. Does that sound good? All right, you guys. Don't forget, stay hydrated. I'm too hydrated, so I have to go dehydrate myself. I think that's what I'm going to call it. Instead of of bio break, I'm just going to call it dehydrating myself. But uh, here, watch the uh, retro vaping bumper, and I'll be right back. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I kind of just left it there. You know what's hilarious is I hit the bumper and I can I, I've heard this song so many times you just sing it in your head and I got to the toilet and before the even the first P molecule had hit the toilet water, the bumper was already done. I heard the ding like still haven't even started peeing yet. So cool. There you go. Sorry about that. Um Let's do some retro mother trucking vaping. I'm pretty excited about this because I have, uh, well, let's see if this is working. Uh, we're going to treat this. 
maybe just a little bit, a little, little bit like a Monday build stream. We're actually going to install coils and wick this and vape this. And what this is, is ba -ba -da -ba, ba -ba 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 -ba. I actually don't remember the name of this RDA. I don't remember. I don't remember who sent it to me. I'm a, I'm basically a terrible YouTuber, but check this out. Yeah. I don't know what this is. If anybody in the chat knows the name of this RDA, please tell me. And if you are the person that sent me this RDA, please tell me. I am obviously a very bad YouTuber because I can't remember people's names and I don't write notes. And I could have easily written a note that said that, oh, this came from Dave. But I didn't, there's no, there's no note on this. But I definitely remember this RDA from way back in the day. This is a 2015 RDA, easily, easily a 2015 RDA. Yeah, get out your scorecards. Jake, Jake Scrapwood says it's the Centurion, so I'm inclined to agree with him. Scallywag also says it's the Spartan, but Scallywag also told me to put a single coil in my, uh, <laughs> I'm just kidding, in my reload RTA. I'm just kidding. Uh, it looks like a Mando. It does kind of look like a Mando. It does kind of look like a Spartan. I think it is the Centurion. For some reason, yeah, Belfrost is very confident that this is the Centurion. So I think this is the Centurion RDA. Where the airflow comes in is in his ears. <laughs> if this is his face, then that is definitely his ear. And that's where the airflow comes in. Both sides, ear airflow. It's a 510 connection on top and it unscrews like the such as Boosh right there, Boosh right there. This is your TM, you know, Twisted Messes external style sort of airflow. And what you're left with is just a copper tube with two like leafy slots cut into it. So theoretically you could run this, you know, without the uh, Centurion mask, you could just run it as like a copper RDA, which might not be a bad way to go. Now, one O-ring on the bottom holds this barrel on and the deck is, it's a velocity deck with a big post in the middle that makes no mother trucking sense to me. Legion RDEA, what's an RDEA? I'm just kidding, Bogan, <laughs> I'm just kidding. So, so far I've heard Legion, Centurion and Spartan, all right. We're getting closer every second. I'm going to, uh, I'm actually going to throw some Duchess coils in here tonight. These are some uh, triple core aliens, five wraps, two and a half millimeter. feel like these should fit in here pretty well. I want you to notice a few weird things about this RDA though. This is just, it's just a bizarre ass RDA. Where's my reload tool? Cause that's what I need. So grub screws on the side, right? Obviously a velocity style deck, obviously a deck with a with a post in the middle. I don't know if this is an inert deck, meaning that it doesn't conduct anything like it's a dead post so that you could do something with series. Like if you went from a lead down here to a lead up here, and then on the other side did the same thing, you might be able to get some series action out of this. I legitimately have no idea what the center post is for. There's a grub screw in it which you can screw down, but I don't, I, this arrangement doesn't make any sense to me. This weird like horseshoe arrangement. My bad, that is the Legion way. We had a super chat that uh, Belfrost says, my bad, that is the Legion. 100% Bogan was right. This is the Legion. Shit, can I get Bogan on here to explain the Legion to me? I don't know what this, I legitimately just don't know what this is for. I'm assuming that it's for, it's like a inner post. Uh, there was a Jabo atomizer, a few Jabo atomizers that had the same thing. So you could run series on it and it would have like half your resistance. This deck has a, a lot of issues though. And you can tell it's a really old deck. So I'm going to back out this grub screw right here. And you can see when I turn it, Oh, that grub screw just completely fell out. That's fine. I'm sure I'll find it again. You can see when I turn it, that hole is drilled all the way through. This is a very old, terrible, terrible retro -y design where they would just drill straight through. Normally, there should be a flat metal 
backing to this post hole. There should be a flat metal backing there. But when you push this all the way through, you can take the screw out the other side. So what this leads to, uh, it probably won't happen because we're using fused Claptons or we're using aliens or whatever, but what this usually leads to is clipping of wires. The first few RDAs that came out suffered from this tremendously. All the IGOs did. Believe it or not, all the IGOs did. Even the original tugboat. Is it positive in the middle? So wait, you're telling me, is that so, is this for vertical coils? Is this like a, you can do vertical coils in it too? These are both negative. Yeah, these are both negative and this middle one is positive. Yeah, that is what it looks like. Son of a bitch. So when you build this, you're going to be building a vertical coil in it. Is that what you're telling me right now? Oh God, I lost one of the coils. Oh God, we might not be using Duchess coils. Oh, five wrap, yeah. Or are these the ones for the, uh, oh, Duchess is gonna get mad at me because I'm using the wrong coils. So you're telling me this has to go like this to get, uh, to get both, both leads have to go through the center. So you're gonna be stacking your leads in the center right there. That's how it's gonna go in. That's a terrible design. That is a, I'm not gonna be able to get this cap over this. That's too big of a coil. Holy crap. Okay, this is, that's right. I think these were reserved for the uh, Valhalla. Where did I, where did my other coil go? I can't believe I just lost a coil. Did I use a Duchess coil? Man, I was really, uh, I was really confident with that Duchess coil, man. This one I think will work better. I'm sorry, Duchess. Uh, even though you are Breeze Tones killers, <laughs> I think you lost a screw. I think you lost a screw. Yeah, I probably did lose a screw. It's okay. There's uh, spare screws. I still have the baggie, and I think there are some spare screws in here. Yeah, there's definitely spare screws in here. Whoops, that's not the freaking tool I need. Oh no, it's stuck on the end of my uh, tool here. So this is kind of just to give you a little taste of what the Monday build stream is like. Uh, I waffle around and I mess things up. And uh, we try to install some coils sometimes. Not so, not so well. So you're telling me this has to go like this. Oh wait, you could do this. <laughs> no, that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Okay, let's do this. Sorry. Sorry. I don't know what. Full Russian hacker. Okay, there we go. So you're telling me that's how one coil goes in. That's going to be much better. I can actually, if I squish it over to the center a little bit, I can definitely get the cap on there. I can definitely get the cap on there. Uh, I'm not using Duchess coils tonight, but uh, shout out to Duchess. You want to vape like royalty? You hit up Duchess coils. That's just what you do. Let's get this other, let's get this other coil in here. In fact, I'm going to pre-clip this center boop like this, just like that. And then I'm going to take this out of here and then I'm going to measure. I'm going to cut the other lead the same length. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, no, I can't do that because that's not correct. Oh, that is correct. Uh, but it's going to always be the top one. Okay. This is why we can't have nice things. Grim Green sucks a building. All right, so we got one coil in there. Where's my other? Oh, God damn it, I cut the wrong lead. Son of a bitch. It's okay, we can still salvage this. So then that goes in there. So then both positive leads go through the center. Perfection. So we screw down the center. I'm sorry that my hands are over this. Put three micro coils on each side. Daryl, look, that's you're talking crazy talk right now. But that's what I got. Going right through the center. Both leads are kind of stacked on each other. I'm going to pull them out a little bit. I'm going to center them as well a little bit 
right after I screw the rest of these down. Now this is just the bizarrest. Is that a word? Bizarrest? Is bizarrest a word? I feel like bizarrest isn't a word. Most bizarre deck, which is definitely, definitely going to have to get centered. These coils are going to need to get centered hard. Um, I don't have any cotton bacon tonight. Should I try to throw some of this QP cotton in here? That could be a thing. See how screwing those down just made the coils go all wonky? Broop. You see how they spread them right out like that? The only way to correct that is to go like this. First of all, we're going to cut our leads. I'm a big advocate of just letting your leads go flying wherever you want. That's what fucking vacuum cleaners are for, right? Let's clip this side. Oops. Boosh. And then we can take this and we can kind of do one of these jobbers. Straighten it right up. Straighten it right up. And, oh God, it's so close to the edge. It's so close to the edge. This atomizer was not, 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 not. I know, I know this won't vape with too big of coils. This still might vape awesome. Look, I'm not going to knock this thing. It could still vape awesome because you still have the ability to line up your airflow with your coils. No sweat. No sweat at all. No sweat at all. In fact, uh, here, let me do this real quick. I'm going to get it. Whoops. Let me do this. real. Let me do this. Okay, never mind. Let's do this. <laughs> I'm going to glow these real quick and then I'm going to throw some wicks in them. The wick that I have tonight is a uh, Kogan dough. Anybody remember Kogan dough? Don't short it out with the screws touching the positive. Don't short it out with the screws touching the positive. I don't have any screws touching the positive right now. I got no positive screws. Oh yeah. Okay. I see what you did there. Smart, smart. Thank you. Good looking out. Damn good looking out. Holy shit. That would have been bad. Let's see what this is even resistancing. What are you resistancing? Uh, let's see. Uh, 0.27. Sure. It seems like it's going to be about right. Let's turn this down and let's see if we can even get these glowing evenly because they're kind of on top of each other, man. They're kind of on top of each other. The screw, yeah, I know, here. I'll, let, me re, let me reassure you that the screw's been pulled out. Ain't no screws touching the, the middle post. Yeah, make sure. Short, I know, that would have like, no, that, see, the DNA would have protected me from that. The DNA would have protected me, but good looking out anyway. I thank you for, uh, for looking out for me. Hang on, full Russian hacker mode. You don't need to see up close. I'm just glowing coils. In fact, I'm going to glow them up here. I have uh, never heard of this before. I've never heard of this. Oh my gosh. It's giving me a temp protect because I'm assuming that this is definitely shorting out right now. That's okay. You know what? We have ways around this. We put this on a less, <laughs> less impressive mod. We put, take this off of a DNA and we put it on a geek vape. Cause that'll fire it. I could put it on a Mac, but I don't want to do that. And for some reason, this is only reading it at a 0.11. Yeah, that sounds about right. It sounds about right for how this looks, but it's going to fire it just fine. Hot spots literally everywhere. Whoa, literally hot spots, crazy everywhere. Hot spots. I may never be able to work these hot spots out. Oh, okay. Oh, we're getting there. We're getting somewhere with this questionably named. We, do we still know the name of it? Do we decide on Centurion? Is that what we decided on? Okay. These coils are glowing evenly. So I'm just going to clip some uh, Kogan dough cotton. In fact, I'm going to make sure real quick that the barrel fits on here without. Uh... Perfect, dude. Perfect. I'm so confident in this vape right now. I don't think you understand how confident I am right now. Three millimeters, perfect. I'm back on Kogan dough, Breeze Tones. I'm back on Kogan dough cotton. I don't know why. 
I don't know why. Who knows why? Who can tell you? I can't tell you. So I got some Kogendo strips. I just literally eyeballed and measured. Just cut some strips out. Kogendo is great for that. If you know what I mean. And I think you do. But we can just pull this through. It's always harder to do it on camera when you can than when you can just turn the atomizer towards you. Yep. Boosh like that. Looks fantastic. Peel one side off. This just feels old school. Using Kogendo cotton and this two th easily 2015 era. Still don't remember the name of it. Centurion? Spartan? I think it was the Centurion. I think that's what Bogan said. Let's get some cotton in here. And boosh. And that's it. And that's done. So, I have really high hopes for this. I have really high hopes. I don't. I don't really have high hopes for this. I'm expecting it's going to vape not great. I'm expecting it to vape bad. But we can tuck some cotton over here. Just poop the cotton, boop the cotton down like that. How's that look? Bad. If you were going to rate this uh, between 1 and 11, you can vote now if you want to. I would say this is easily a solid 7 to a 7.5 build. 7.5 install. Cotton? Mm, that's questionable, man. That's questionable. But that's where we're left. That's where we're at. Not bad, pretty terrible, but it was glowing great. And it's going to be Legion RDA, Legion RDA, Legion RDA, Legion RDA. Okay. Is it Centurions or is it, is it, is it what is it? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I legitimately don't know. So now that we have this built, now that we have this built, it's 630. Now that we have this built, let's, uh, Let's let's do a random liquid tasting with the Centurion RDA. RTA. Damn. So you guys are going to have to vote. We're either voting for... Hang on, let me get them. Uh, it's either going to be... Uh, uh, look at this. Look at these three... Three of my subscribers' liquids are up right now. Three. Three of my subscribers' liquids are up for a very random liquid tasting right now. The first one, we're voting, not, not Jubby's Dairy. <laughs> Jubby! Hoguts, this is uh, Mixed Berry Lemonade. We also have Testing Grounds from Overdrip. Or we got Toonies ADV, the Cream to Menth Pound Cake. Vote. You either say Mint, let's say Toonie, Toonie, testing grounds or, 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 mi or, or mixed berry, I don't know, mixed berry lemonade, testing grounds, or toonie. There you go. Mixed berry lemonade, testing grounds, toonie. Mixed berry lemonade, testing grounds, toonie. Please vote now. Oh, I gotta go get some votes for Jubbies right out of the gate. Jubbies, 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 testing grounds, testing grounds, Jubbies, Jubbies, ring on the Jubbies, testing grounds. Really? <laughs> Toonie. Oh, we got some lemonades. Well, some lemonades are making a, uh, some lemonades. Toonie, Toonie, Toonie. Okay. Oh, okay. Toonie, 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 Toonie. Jubbies. Toonie, 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 Toonie. Holy crap. Toonie. 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 Yeah. Look, this was kind of a landslide win. Uh, while these were in focus, Toonie, this is your all-day vape. I'm about to vape Addy Toonie's all-day vape. I'm really excited about this. Where'd my GD atomizer go? What resistance did we even end up with? Does anybody remember? I don't remember. Do not remember. I don't know why I unscrewed it from this device anyway. So here we go. Centurion RDA. It's Toonie. Voting's done. Toonie, Toonie won by, uh, by a landslide. So let me taste. Tony, you know I love mint. You know I'm going to love this. If I love this, will you supply this to me, Toonie? 
<laughs> I'll buy it. I'll pay for it. I'll pay, I'll pay you money for this liquid. But we're just going to apply. It tastes like a really nice, sweet. It kind of tastes like a dinner mint pound cake, which I know sounds weird, but is honestly kind of delicious. All right. Well, we might need a little bit more wattage than that, Addy Tooney. What do you think? 41 watts is not quite enough for a 0.35. Oh, that's better. Oh, that's better. I'm excited to try this liquid. Dude, I feel, honestly, I feel a little bit honored that I get to uh, try Addy Tooney's all day banger. Now, what's great about this RDA is there's no tabs or anything like that. So you can literally press this down to be right in front of your coils. Right in front of the coils, directly in front of the coils. We are going to be running this in full Centurion mode. So we're gonna attach the AFC. We're gonna leave that full open. Screw that down. I still need a 510 drip tip. Um, here, will the type two one fit on here? Psh, boosh, there it is. Look at that, Centurion RDA, it's dumb. Oh, thank you, Toonie, I appreciate that. I really appreciate that, bro. Toonie, you're too kind. You're too kind to me, personally. Toonie's menthol in the, Toonie's, it's actually creme de menthe cake in one and a half milligram. I'm gonna have a toot. Ah, uh, I can see why you like this, Addy Tooney. This is a uh, th this is a really interesting juice. Um, what I'm gonna do is shit. Can I even do this anymore? Let's see. Can I sit back and just uh, is this this is gonna be too loud? Is that too loud? Is that too loud? Can you can you tell me if that's too loud? I'm gonna sit back with this for just a hot second. I'm going to vape it for a second. We'll come back. We'll finish this vlog up. We'll do the last super chats. We'll talk about the liquid. We'll talk about the retro vape. I'm going to mute myself and just vape for a second. You guys talk about, talk amongst yourselves. Go ahead and hit that like button. That's what I meant. Legion RDA. That's what I meant. Okay, Addy Tooney. Okay, was that way too loud? I feel like that was way too loud. Was that way too loud? Volume 12. So let me say this first about the Legion. All right, Bogan, am I right? Please tell me I'm right. The Legion RDA, dude, it holds up. Other than the really weird build deck, I was able to get a dual coil three millimeter fuse Clapton in here. Airflow's wide open. It's big, it's smooth, it's swooshy. It's got nice flavor. This is kind of a banger of an RDA. I mean, that is performing incredibly. 0.3565 watts. You could probably run this on a series something or other. I like that you can bleh your liquid directly through the top of this. It's holding up. This Centurion with a fresh build in it, man, it is really holding up. Even with those dorky like ear, ear holes, 
ear hole airflow. Okay, now as for the lit quid, which look, we didn't get a we didn't get a bumper, right? We got to hear the metal bumper for the liquid. The liquid, the Addy Tooney All Day Vape of Creme de Menthe Pound Cake is right up my alley. It kind of reminds me of a better version of like a dinner mint liquid that I used to buy from uh, Rogue. J Mark, J Mark Rogue used to make a like a butter after dinner mint side of minty, but not menthol. It's not cooling, but it's creme de menthe. It's kind of a different flavor. It's like a creme de menthe, creamy vanilla cake. It's like, it, to me, it tastes like a really, like a really creamy sort of after dinner mint, which I know isn't like the most, you know, exciting flavor, but it's a very, I could see how this becomes your all day vape. It's tasty and it doesn't, it doesn't like, get overwhelming. You can just vape it and vape it and vape it. Honestly, Addy Tooney, this liquid is almost like a little bit of like a <laughs> palate cleanser for me, ear flow. It's a little bit of like a palate cleanser for me. You know, it's just a little bit like creme de menthe, vanilla cake, but it still has like that dinner mint kind of component to it. It's just a DIY. I'm sure Addy Tooney would be more than happy to share the recipe with you, but that's what I'm getting out of this. It's nice. I mean, it's very delightfully approachable. It's not overly sweet. It's not overly flavored. It's just like, hi, you can vape this all day and you won't get sick of it. And it's kind of a delightful little buttery cake mint every time you vape it. It is very much like a butter mint, a butter mint, less mint, more, more cream to menthe and less mint, but it's very much like that butter mint. Oh, damn, that's good. You want me to put this on the DNA from a dual triple should be, uh, no, look, no, I, I had to use uh, different coils. Uh, Duchess had to use different coils there. My man did not get to use your Duchess coils, your royalty coils on this. I used some QP coils that were, uh, well, they're gone now. Uh, here they are, I dig them out of the trash. This is a, uh, it says they should come out to a 0.3. It's three millimeter aliens. That's all it says. Canthal and Nichrome 80 it says dual coils come out to a 0.35 and this came out psh, right at a 0.35. Shout out QP for having really accurate coils. <laughs> don't <coughs> don't vape it when your airflow is aligned at your post holes kick ass addy and now i feel like i've gotten i feel like i'm a little bit closer friends with addy tooney now like i got to vape his all day vape that feels like a thing that feels like a special thing thing for me between me and addy tooney Appreciate you, brother. Well, shit, man, we're, we're wrapping up this vlog. We're already running a little bit long, but we have to get to some of those super chats. No, let's not do that. No, no dangle clacks. No dangle clacks tonight. No dangle clacks tonight. Um, 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 let's see, where did I end up there? That's right, QHB, how are you doing? Happy belated birthday. Thank you so much, QHB. Had a pretty good birthday. Had a fun Godzilla-filled birthday. Kevin, happy belated birthday, Nick. It's been a year since I've caught a live stream. Well, welcome back to the party, pal. Currently using my Smoke GX2 4 in dual, co in dual mode. Remember that? Oh, yeah. And the Zeus X, ha <laughs> ha, hashtag... Hashtag Zeus X. Well, Kevin, damn it. Thank you for coming out. Man, it's been a year, really? Where you been? I've been here. Come hang out more often, Kevin. I like it when you're here. Tribal Buddha, Bogan was right. It's the Legion. Okay. I know I still think I said Centurion about a hundred times. Belfrost, very confidently now saying this is the Legion 100%. I need more baked liquid. Any ideas? Ombboyoc at gmail.com. 
Jake Scrapwood, unscrew that to screw, damn it, hard short. Yeah, okay, yes. Thank you to everybody that saw that because I didn't see it and that would have been, uh, that just would have instantly been a hard short. Although the DNA would have protected me. It would have shed uh, hard short or temperature protect or low ohms protect or something like that. Um, Duchess Coil says, warning, coils may be impossible to install per Grim Green. Rest in peace, pair two. <laughs> Look, I still have it. These are for the Valhalla. These are for the Valhalla, and I'm still saving them for the Valhalla, Duchess. <laughs> Derek, Jubbies 2024. Uh, I can't pick uh, between Cool Kids Juice. They're all good. All right, Derek. That nice, nice uh, cop out there, Derek. Yeah, I'm calling you out. That was a cop out, and you know it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, Dean, happy belated birthday. Cheers from Canada. Bro, thank you so much. I, I did. I really had a really good birthday, you guys. It was really good to be away for about a week, and I really missed streaming. It was a very self-reflective, you know, you know, time for me. It's hard being on YouTube for 12 years and trying to maintain some sort of like, you know, relevance. And it's been an uphill struggle from the very beginning. And, you know, I, I get depressed sometimes when I'm thinking about um, how, how, how the vape community is kind of shrinking, you know, it's shrinking a little bit. Uh, it's hard to maintain my YouTube and like still get the exposure that I used to get. And I appreciate you guys being here every Thursday. I look forward to this. Like, like you can't imagine. This is my favorite day of the week. And I love coming to vlog here with you guys. I love prepping it. I mean, I say the same thing every week, but I'm I'm just really, really thankful for you guys and really, really thankful that you're here. And I'm really, really thankful that somehow after 12 fucking years, the name Grim Green is still a little bit relevant in vaping. That makes me very, very satisfied, man. I feel like we've let a lot of people away from combustion and uh, there's so many more people to go, you know? There's so many more people that we're gonna rip combustion right out of their hands and go, here, this, you'll like it way more. And then you know what? Boosh, they quit smoking and they do. So let me take one quick look around the room real quick and make sure I didn't forget anything. Everything looks good. I'm excited about these QP liquids. I want to taste that Huckleberry Yig. I like having uh, I like having patron liquids in the very random liquid tasting. I just think that's cool as hell. And uh, again, uh, you guys are my family, and I love the vlog, and I and I love that you guys are still uh, still coming out for the vlog. It just look. It brings it brings some warmth to my old 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 heart. You know. <laughs> It's been a it's been a trip, man. We've gone from look. I started this off with, with no subscribers. You know, we start we all start at zero, and it's been a crazy twelve years. And the ride was ridiculous. And I fucked up a lot, and I made stupid decisions, and I made bad you know choices, and you know I, I fiddled around. I focused on things that weren't important, and uh, you know I've I've been growing and learning as a as a human and as a person just as much you know over the last twelve years as anybody else. And I and I make mistakes, and I try to learn, and I try to be a better person, and I try to have better content, and I try to defend vaping any chance I get, and. Man, I, I've just been really reflective over the last 12 years because that kind of hit me like, dude, you've been on YouTube 12 years. This is the longest job you've ever had, Grim Green. You're tied right now with Starbucks. If I, if I do this another year, this will be the longest job that I've ever had. And that just really hits me sideways. It's like, your job is you. Anyway, um, I, I really do appreciate you guys. Um, yeah, that's it. Beer's gone. Shit. Could have got out of Topo Chico. We're not going to do that. Uh, I'm just going to take my uh, Centurion art. <laughs> I'm taking my Centurion. I'm, I'm not trying to catch you in the fields, MMC. I've just been, you know, I, it's 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 a weird thing, dude. Being this, doing this 12 years, and and like looking at your subscriber counts and your view counts when it's like, oh, we're in a peak. Oh, we're in a valley. Oh, we're in a peak. It's like, hey, vaping's popular. Hey, vaping's being demonized. Hey, people like Grim Green. Hey, people fucking hate Grim Green. And you know, it's just been a really weird ride. And I've had some drama, and I've met like lifelong friends, like deep lifelong friends, and. 
I'm just, I'm very, I'm feeling very grateful for the abundance of love that you guys are showing me. And I'm feeling very grateful for vaping as a whole, just, just right now, even though we're in kind of the darkest times we've ever been in, this is the darkest timeline for vaping. I, I think that, you know, rebellions are built on hope and it's really just a matter of time before all the spaceships jump through the, jump through the wormhole to, to, to just destroy the Death Star, you know? So that's where I'm at. Oh, a couple of, hey, look at that. A couple of super chats came on. Matthew Hang, this uh, is job has had the biggest impact in the world. Th I, Matthew Hang, th seriously, thank you so much. I, that's not what I was fishing for, but I, 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 I don't know. I mean, I like to think that I've had some sort of impact, you know, I just want to, I just really want to do right by vaping and right by the vape industry, you know? That's really been my only mission. Tanner Fry, belated birthday, bro. Welcome back. Thank you for vlog day. Tanner Fry, I love you, bro. You're, you are one of the very, most very gracious people to me. And I'm, I'm thankful that, that, that our paths have crossed and that, uh, and that I get to know Tanner Fry now. Seriously, thank you guys. I'm not trying to drag this out. It's a long vlog. We ran a little bit long, but damn it. I had a lot, lot, lot of fun. So thank you guys so much for coming out. Remember... No matter what anybody tells you, no matter what any Muppet-faced, unelected, rich bureaucrats tell you, the science shows that vaping is at least 95% less harmful for you than burning those deadly, deadly combustible tobacco cigarettes. I got to quit smoking in the greatest, most effortless way possible, and I think that every smoking adult in the world should have this as an option. They should be able to quit the same way that we got to quit. So keep fighting the good fight. Damn the man. I appreciate you guys. Be excellent to each other. And as always, always, let's keep on vaping.